that we can't see all over the rocks, mm -hmm. right? And so it is turning this into, you know, from a poison, which is nitrite, yeah. into fish, I mean, plant food, which is a nitrate. Okay, nitrite, yeah. nitrate. Exactly. Yeah, I don't have any frogs. Oh, doesn't that qualify as a frog? Well, you're right. Technically, it qualifies as a frog. <laughs> <laughs> a musical frog. This is frog. dinosaur you know, kale? Where you uh, yeah, take yeah, the stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is yeah, dinosaur kale. kale. We're growing These it. are uh, spring onions going to flower. A lot of people never see the okay. plant through the whole cycle. So this We've is got... what they look like originally. Then they go to flower and they look like that. Mm -hmm. And wow. there's uh, spinach back there. I see it. The spinach lettuce, right there and the lettuce right strawberries here. Strawberries starting to grow right, right here. here. Uh -huh. Oh, there you go. Wow. So it's a bit fussy way to grow Look at food, but kill. you know, it's this one is more aquaponics. way to have a growing food in the city. This is awesome. And then uh, my, I think I told you my husband is a builder, so they've been busy sort of redoing the pond. So oh, so that's right up Jeremiah's alley. We're going to, um, we made it a lot shallower, Jeremiah. It was uh, about four feet deep. And we filled it up with rock, so it'll take less water, less electricity to pump everything, and it's safe. We don't need a net. Yeah. So if it's 18 inches or less in California, you don't need a net over the pond. Okay. Yeah, because a little, little, well, a baby would be a problem, but a kid could stand up in there. Yes. So yes. Um, anyway, we're in the midst of getting a new liner in there, and then he's going to go to Lake Elsinore and get some rocks and kind of kind of architects the, this corner here. But this is a lovely space for people to sit in and listen to the uh, waterfall go. Yes. So, um, it's just, you know. I am, baby. Yes, this is lovely. And then uh, we do a lot of um, workshops and farm camp I was talking to you about. So uh, we've got the stage. Oh. And a bar. Okay. And I just ordered the parts for our cappuccino maker. Oh, <laughs> cappuccino. Right. So Talking we'll my language. To offer that oh, look future. at the cages. And uh, we use the design thinking, uh, particularly from uh, Christopher Alexander, who wrote a book called A Pattern Language. A pattern language. I really urge you to look at the way you use space. Okay. And so we have all these different outdoor rooms, right, where people can congregate and hang out. So what is this material? Yeah, just a, a, a just leaves. And then those are all the palm fronds that fall Palm. Out okay, that's what, was, that's what I was. That's what I because I knew it was a pergola, but I was trying to figure out what it was. So that's palm trees. And the leaves. Big, uh, Staghorn fern back there. That's a prehistoric oh, plant. That is a prehistoric fern. Yeah, that was growing wow. in a uh, uh, house in Venice in the tree, and I thought, no way is that going to make it here. It's too hot, but it likes Compton. <laughs> it likes Compton. Yes. I'm from Compton. This is my this and, is my uh, town. Here's my little Duke place. Oh. See them in there. Oh look. Mm -hmm. Look at our birds. So they, they behave more like birds than chickens, these three. And these I'm are really chickens. Happy, the chickens are all inside, but I'm really happy with these three. They're very calm and kind of all hang out together. Okay. Now, now what kind of tree is this? No, whatever you want to take pictures of, love. Yeah. What type of tree is this? This is a white mulberry. A white? So you have a mulberry these, tree. Yeah, these aren't ready yet, but you guys can pick some of the red mulberries before you go. Awesome! Yeah, they're really I delicious. love you so much. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm going to suck your brain dry of all the nut. <laughs> Hold on. So let me tell you here. something. This lady right here has so much knowledge. She works at Cal Poly Tech. Pomona. She is an educator. She does it all and what she doesn't know. She knows people that knows. And she's going to hook me up. She's hooking your girl up. I'm so honored. And God willing, Jeremiah's going to get a job here. She has goats and chickens and everything. And she's going to teach a girl. Alright, back to the tutorial. Back to the um, 
the introduction. What do you see? What we got going on? Uh -huh. You see her goats? That's, that, I usually do them last. Yeah, the rabbits I got in uh, 20... I didn't see the rabbits. 18, because um, all our chickens were euthanized. We had, you know, I like oh. to talk about, because you know how we're wearing masks right now. Right. The same thing happens in the chicken world. Right. 18, the swine flu. Newcastle. Newcastle. It, it gets into your flock. It's deadly. There's no cure. And it really spreads rapidly. So um, we lost 24 chickens. Oh, my. Uh, they paid me, I can't remember, $15 a chicken or something. But we didn't have birds for a couple years. So my heart was a little broken. So I had to get the, bur the, the, rabbits, the rabbits to kind of sort me out. I understand. And then, uh, we can look at That's the, interesting. Uh, laying hen from back here. Jay, come here. So they have their own separate housing, oh. but they they can kind of free range oh. with the goats. Look at so that! So they can come in here, but the goats can't Hello. come in here. Otherwise, they lose their food. I want to try to build one of those feeders. I don't know if it's cheaper to just buy it or build it. Oh, it depends. Hi. You know, it, it's pretty cheap to buy. And then the eggs are back here. Oh, she has lame chickens. Yeah, there we go. Pull that out oh. of there. Look, you guys. This, I know for some of you guys, you're like, Alana, oh, look. Yeah, a little crack. Because I don't have enough, I'll hold it. Oh, okay. I don't have enough, uh, what do you call it, sawdust in there. Oh. So when it hits the wood, it kind of... This is my first time holding an actual egg that has been laid and not from a store. Well, th those have been laid too, of course. Well, yeah, I mean, but I was actually able to see yeah, where it came right. from. Sometimes there's some in here too, but no, not, mm. not right now. She said, Alana, those have been laid too, child. What you talking about? <laughs> no, I didn't mean it like that. No, but we could go back. I got to see it in its actual, actual habitat. That's right. And this is a lot fresher than any yes. grocery store. Yes, sure. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so I get the field ready for um, a new planting for summer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now this is the um, the um, watering system. Yes, this is a, a drip watering system. A that drip my watering system. Installed. Yeah. Look at that, and you guys. We'll put the transplants in there and put a mulch over everything. Now, what is that growing? Those are leeks. Leeks? Yeah. So the, the goats will eat the leeks? No, we will. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. It's like a really beautiful um, okay. uh, onion. Very modest. Yes, yes. I want to grow some. I have seeds. So take a, take oh. a petal off of that. Yes, this is called a. Um, wait. This is called hibiscus? Nasturtium. 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 Yeah. Okay. Oh, so check it out. Just take a little pedal. Yeah, I have on two masks. Just take, take a little pedal. How about this? Take another one. It does have a little kick to it. Yep. All right. And I have you to can take this and put the rest of my salad. There you go. Nasturtium. Hey now, she's learning. She's learning. <laughs> hey, bud. Now, what is this Just one called? Just the petals. Just the petal. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you think that tastes like. Okay. Uh oh. I got the whole. One second. No, she it's, said it's, it was mild. Oh, not oh. maybe afterwards a little bit yeah, yeah. okay good job sit down sit down Tommy thank and here's, you you'll know that flavor oh she said I'll know this flavor let me see let me see I don't, let me taste another one. That I, and it flew away.
Oh, okay. I'm like, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm actually growing arugula right now. Oh, look, you guys. Look at that. I'm coming. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, y'all, I'm being real brave because this is the life that I want. Hello. So we you have look wise. dairy goats and fiber goats. This is Aurelia. Hi, Aurelia. How are you? She's very pregnant. Is what she's oh, from a mother to a mother. God bless you. And who do we have over here? That is Winston and Claire. Hi, Winston and Claire. And who's that? How's she doing? She's good. She, uh, I think she'll have her, her babies in the next week or two. She's Ooh. really, she's really ready. Oh. And because the goats got sheared, so you see these guys out here. These are the fiber goats. So they um, have, we'll go out there. Now what is the difference with fiber well, goat? You'll notice that um, their fur is very straight and short and they're dairy goats. I raise them. Will they goats. bite me? No, they might okay. nibble on your clothes. Okay. Uh, uh, like a baby out of curiosity. Okay, I can handle that. I think. And then. Um, oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> go, Baba. These are the animals oh. that are freshly shaved today so wow. see how, he, how curly he is we missed that so yes that, that was she just left and um one of the two roosters going at it over there oh we get that at home mm-hmm yeah hi now what's this one's name this is Nicholas Jose. Hi, Nicholas Jose. This is Bunchy Carter. Hi, Bunchy Carter. And this is Toy Karina. Hi, Toy Karina. And this is Charlotte. Okay. Are they fighting? There. Yeah, a little bit because it's a sort of a battle of the wills because they just got um, shaved. So it's all oh. very new for everybody when they, they look so different. You know what I mean? Oh. They had Four inch fiber all over their body. Gotcha. Stop. Stop. Yeah, because she doesn't have the, the horns. Oh, they get dehorned. And here's another one that's pregnant. They get dehorned. Okay. Oop, I just hit my head. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to, to say watch your head. Hey, hey. That's okay. You live and you learn. I got an owie, y'all. <laughs> I got an owie. Hi. Hey, look at the chickens. We saw her. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah. He's a Polish. A Polish, hi. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Look at him. He's pretty now, what's friendly his name? if you pick him up. He doesn't have a name. Oh. I haven't named him. What do you think I should name him? Cluck. What? Cluck. Cluck. <laughs> There you go. Or huh? Mr. Unique. That he is. He's lovely, isn't he? He's gorgeous. He is. And he's turning a little mean in his old age. He's going to be a, a year old. I know somebody like that, huh, Jay? <laughs> turning mean in their old age. That is so gorgeous. He's so gorgeous. Hi, Mr. Unique. Now, I'm going to need y'all to be nice. Especially if she's pregnant. They both are. Oh. In fact, all three of them are. Oh, so mm -hmm. lots of kids are coming. Yes, lots of kids are coming. And this is the daddy. He's no longer a daddy, but he, he was. And when he was, he was very prolific, I'm afraid. Hey. <laughs> he said, I spread my seed. That's it. And now I'm done. Well, I assure, I, I stopped it all. I the, <laughs> she I said you're done. Vet, I brought the vet in, exactly. Okay. We don't have room for the babies. Oh. If I had acres. Right. If I had acres and acres, then that would be fun. That is the goal. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and if they're fed well, you'll have, you know, have two babies, sometimes three. Look at that. This is so awesome. And then they just sit back just chilling. Like, I'm tired. I'm not here for all of that right now. Wow. So, Jay, what you think? Would you like to come and be here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I told you he was a big one. Uh-huh. I told her, I said he is. Yeah, we were talking about how, how heavy. I was like, oh, he can handle that with no problem. Look, you guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to Callie's Homesteading with Pooh Bear. We just had a great introduction to the type of life that I want to live. Hanging out, hanging out with the chickens and the goats. How about that? Okay. 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 Oh, right. they're getting into it. Yeah. And these are girls That's fighting. Yeah. The girls pregnant are fight girl. pregnant girls. The pregnant mamas are fighting. And not over the daddy, they're just fighting. She's cleaning herself so you're throwing dirt at me, girl. Look at the mamas. <laughs> Do it again, do it again, do it again, Mr. Uh, Unique. Now, what is this that they're eating? Fennel. Fennel. We uh, weeded an area over there today and put down some weed cloth, so just took that out, and, and rather than put it in the green bin, I know they'll eat it and enjoy it. Okay. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go because i got a little bit of interesting uh, conversations to go on. Thanks you. Thank you so much for tuning in with Homesteading with with Callie Homesteading with Pooh Bear. I'm trying not to get in the way of the goats. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye for now.